today I'm going to be showing you how to make a decorative door. So the first thing you need is cardboard, paperboard actually. And I used a giant cereal box and then scissors, glue, and I used tape in the end. And then you must cut it apart on each side so that you have, I don't remember how many pieces it is, but you want the bigger flat sides, uh, you want both of those cut out separately. Then you're going to fold it, or if you have an exacto knife, then you don't need to fold it. But I needed to fold it so that my lines would be symmetrical. And you're just going to cut it so that you have four spots. And the top two should be shorter than the bottom two. Then you're going to glue that to your other cardboard piece that's big. And you can use whatever size you want, but they need to be the same size. Then you're going to glue that down. And you'll notice that I glue over it. That's just how I do things. So, And then you're going to take the smaller parts, like the smaller cutouts, and put them into the bigger spot in the middle. And then you're going to cut the other two small ones and make them smaller so they can go to the smaller ones. I just did this for detailing. You technically don't have to do that. And then I take an egg carton and I cut out like where the egg rests. And I took two of those and put them together. And then you could use a uh, part of a Q-tip to make like a little handle or something, but I didn't because I didn't want it to turn. And then ta-da, that's the full door and you could be done there, but I keep going. I make a frame and I didn't um, put more like supports around it, but I would if I were you because mine does not stand up very well by itself. That part just kind of falls over and the door just is the only part keeping it up so I have to lean it against things. So I would recommend you like put uh, something in to make it solid. And as you can see, it's quite large. And it functions as a door because I taped it to the side instead of like gluing it. And then I just go in and paint the whole door blue because I had a specific design in mind. So now I go and paint the doorknob gold. Now, I think my design probably would have fit better with silver, but I personally just like gold doorknobs better. And then I go in with a sponge brush to make clouds. Um, I feel like these are really simple things to do with a sponge brush. You just dip it in white and then sponge it. Uh, I don't do it with a brush because I feel like that's a lot harder to do to make it look natural. Um, but you can do whatever you want. So you're just finished. You can see how large it is.